Many states are carefully considering steps that would help them collect sales tax on items purchased through the internet. How many randomly selected sales transactions must be surveyed to determine the percentage that transpired over the internet? Assume that we want to be 90% confident that the sample percentage is within two percentage points of the true population percentage for all sales transactions. The formula that we will use is given below and we see the different variables Z subscript alpha divided by 2, which is the critical value associated with the 90% confidence level, and E, the margin of error, which is given by the within two percentage points statement in the original problem. The multiplication by 0.25 is used because we don't have a percentage from a previous study. We'll first find the Z subscript alpha divided by 2, which is called the critical value and is associated with the 90% level of confidence. To find the Z subscript alpha divided by 2, we'll take 1 and subtract 0 0.90, giving us 0.1 or 10%. This is alpha. Dividing this by 2 gives us alpha divided by 2. Now keep in mind this is alpha divided by 2, not Z subscript alpha divided by 2. To find the critical value, z subscript alpha divided by 2, we need to input this into the inverse normal function by hitting second distribution and the number 3. Our input will be 0 0.05, and we see that the output is a negative 1.64. If we are asked for the critical value, we'll always give critical value as a positive number even though the output here is negative. Because the critical value z subscript alpha divided by 2 is a z-score, we will take the critical value, the z-score, to two decimal places as we do all z-scores. Now inputting these values into our formula, we'll start with a parenthesis, then we will put in the 1.64, We'll divide that by the margin of error, and the margin of error here is gotten from the within two percentage points. Keep in mind this is a percent, so we'll not use the number 2, but instead the number 0 0.02, which is the decimal equivalent of 2%. Close the parentheses, now the x squared key, and then we can multiply this by 0.25, and we see when we hit the enter key, that our number is 1,681. So that the number of randomly selected sales transactions that must be surveyed to determine the true percentage that transpired over the internet and to get a 90% confidence interval estimate of that number, we would need to sample 1,681 such transactions.